Hello, everyone. Today, I will introduce antigen processing and presentation. Antigen presentation in an organism is accomplished by antigen presenting cells, APC. Antigen presenting cells are a kind of cells capable of processing antigens and presenting antigen peptides to T cells in the form of antigen peptide MHC molecular complexes, and play an important role in immune recognition, immune response and immune regulation of the body. The process of antigen processing and presentation mainly involves two processes. The first is antigen processing, which means that APC degrades and processes the exogenous antigen or the endogenous antigen produced by cytoplasm itself to a polypeptide fragment of a certain size, so that the antigen peptide is suitable for binding to the MHC molecule and the complex is combined. Finally, the complex can be transported to the cell surface. The process is called antigen processing. Followed by antigen presentation, the antigen peptide MHC molecular complex expressed on the surface of APC, is recognized by T cells, thereby presenting antigen peptides to T cells and inducing T cell activation. Depending on the nature and source of the antigen, APC processes and presents antigens through four pathways, the MHC class A molecular pathway, the MHC class I molecular pathway, the non-canonical antigen presentation pathway, and the CD1 molecular pathway of lipid antigens. The MHC class A molecular pathway is an endogenous antigen presenting pathway. Endogenous antigens bind to transport are associated with antigen processing, TAP, after ubiquitinated endogenous antigens are degraded by the proteasome. TAP selectively transports 8 to 12 amino acid antigen peptides to the endoplasmic reticulum, ER. The antigen polypeptide binds to the antigen binding peptide groove of the MHC class A molecule assembled by the endoplasmic reticulum to form an antigen peptide MHC I like molecular complex. The complex is then transported to the cell membrane via the Golgi apparatus for recognition by CD8 plus T cells, thereby completing antigen presentation process. The MHC class II molecular pathway, the exogenous antigen presenting pathway, the exogenous antigen is recognized and taken up by APC, and then APC will form endosomes or phagocytos lysosome. After the endosomes or phagocytos lysosome fuses with MHC class II compartment, M2C, the antigen is degraded into polypeptides. MEK is the nonomer of MHC2-2, in which the two chain is degraded in MEK leaving class II associated invariant chain peptide clip in the antigenic peptide binding groove of MHC class A molecules. Under the action of HLADM, the clip of the antigen peptide binding groove is replaced by the antigen peptide to form a stable antigen peptide MHC class I molecular complex, which is then transported to the surface of the APC membrane for recognition by CD4 plus T cells, thereby completing the antigen presentation process. Cross-presentation means that APC can present uptake and processing of exogenous antigen to CD8 plus T cells via MHC class A molecular pathway, or present endogenous antigen to CD4 plus T cells via MHC class A molecular pathway. The CD1 molecular pathway for lipid antigens is a pathway that specifically targets lipid antigens, mainly through the CD1 molecule on the surface of APC. That's all. Thank you. If you want to learn more, Please load our website, www.creativediagnostics.com.